Well, hello, sports fans, and welcome back for our first season in the Norwegian Premier Division. As you know, we are managing SK Vard. And uh, we are we have moved up from the bottom division to the top division, which makes me a national hero. Yay! All right. So, let's take a look at where the press think we're going to be. And, from just being promoted, we are a thousand to one to go down. As well as your and Kongsunger. And the team that got promoted along with us, Bran, are predicted to finish eighth. I have tried to strengthen the squad and spent, well, all the money that I could to do so. Let's take a look at those transfers. So, first on the outside, Gardner is going out on free transfer, as well as Johansson Storvik, one of my first goalkeepers, Lisseth Burishall. Silverstone, Thomas Ken, another goalkeeper goes out, and I sold Matson for 12k. Eklund went out on loan. He's a striker. So I did manage to sell a player, and uh, this is our highest transfer fee collected. And then I went and bought some players. Let's start with Kevin Sony. He is an attacking midfielder. He's going to be our starter. And his first touch, he's good at corners. Passing, his technique is good. His vision is good. Maleo, he is our striker and I currently can't see because my cat has walked in front of the television um. all right finishing 13 his first touch is good his heading is okay his passing is okay he anticipates well he moves well off the ball he has good composure makes Good decision, has decent determination. Dribbling, yeah, yeah. All right. Next, we have Alex Portola. He's a central defender, also can defend on the left. Good heading, good, ta well, okay tackling. Okay, marking, good jumping reach. I brought him in mainly for a backup. He seems to have been doing okay. 6'9", six, 6'4", six, when he's come in. Just kind of a mixed bag. Another free, Jaworski, again. Here's another central midfielder that can rotate in. He has decent technique, decent passing, decent vision. His first touch is okay. He can dribble all right. He can take a free kick if we need to. He can take a long shot. Um, I can, he's unconvincing, but I can move him up into the attacking midfield role if I need to. Pairs guard. Yep. He can defend on either the left or the right. And it'll probably be on the right. Hegland's not been having a good game. His teamwork, work rate, decisions are all good. Tackling is okay. I'm really hoping that this guy can just hold the line for us. And we have Tuffacy here. 
And again, finishing, dribbling, first touch, all 13. He can head the ball at 13. He can't jump to get it, but if it falls to his head, he can put it away. Off the ball, composure, anticipation are all fairly good. He's probably going to be either third or fourth choice striker. I spent a lot of my transfer budget on this guy, Valier. He's a left defender. His tackling, you may not be able to see that as a 16, marking 11. He has good physicals. And he's only 22, so I'm hoping he gets a lot better. Then the other part of my transfer budget I spent on a decent goalkeeper. And I think that I moved up, but I'm not really sure. Here his reflexes are 13. He's got an aerial reach of 14. He's command of area, pretty average, but pretty decent. His jumping reach here is 16, so that's that's very good. In the air. So, then I went out and got another goalkeeper. Latavar. And he, again, is my backup. He's still got good reflexes. His jumping reach is 14. There's not much difference between these two goalkeepers. But they were way better than sticky fingers we had last year. All right. Now, Matilla. Here is a goalkeeper. His reflexes are outstanding. He's our third choice. Bjorkman. Here's another central defender. His tackling is average. Marking, heading, everything you want. He's got good mentals, decent physicals. He, he'll do a job for us. This one my director of football found and Ed Carlos is finishing first touch. He's got really decent physicals. His mentals aren't all there, but his off the ball is 12. His anticipation is 7 and his composure is 12. Hopefully, you know, he can, he can come in and make an impact rotating through. And finally, Pinker. We brought him in. He's going right into the youth team. His marking is okay. His tackling is okay. This is just a 19 year old. I've seen better. I really just clicked before I even saw him. So what are you going to do? So those are the transfers. We are going to play. We look here at the schedule. We have Hogesund in the first match. They are a former parent club. It's a home match. It's televised. We've sold over 900 season tickets. I'm hoping we have a very decent year attendance wise. It's been a pretty mixed bag over the preseason. Um, Yerv is a premier club. We drew there. Hoggison, we beat 3-1. And then Bran, we lost 2-0. And we didn't even look in that match. So hopefully we're going to get off to a winning way in the premiership. I'll see you when, for the first game. Okay, sports fans, here is the team for today. Horwith, the American in goal. Valier. Alex Porter. Uh, what is his name? 
Portillo, Bjorkman, and Hagland in the back. In midfield, we have Sanders, Tronstad, and Madsen. Sony in behind Malio and Huka. Huka's got the captain's armband now. Lassen has been suspended. And he's about the only superstar we're missing. So we have one, two, three, four, five debuts today against a team that is our former parent club. Look at all those people in the stands. Although most of them are for the opposition, but that's all right. The Hoggerson Derby. Ooh. Looks like they're playing a 4-4-1-1 against us. Twenty minutes gone. I like this. We're edging possession. Shots are even. They've created better chances. Oh, off the crossbar. 30 minutes gone. Let's go for a little more direct passing with a little higher tempo. See if that creates us a better chance. You know what? Let's attack for the first 20 minutes and see how that gets us Valier, there you go Hookah's not having a great game Oh, good job, Horwath. The new sticky finger. Ooh. Bjorkman plays it back. Uh, it's coming back at us, and they've got numbers. Four on four. Hits the post. Good clearance away. Wow, they've changed to a 3-4-3. Three, three. They're smelling blood in the water here. All right. Hookah, okay, you're just not... Not getting it done. Uh, 
that's going on. He's a little more defensive. Good header away. Come on, break. Maleo, Sani, Sandberg, Maleo. Oh, nice strike by Maleo, but it's off the post. Collier sends it in, headed away. Uh oh. Oh. And they're attacking again in a wave. They're pinging the ball nicely. He's not going to miss from there. Zahore. Horwith got a hand to it, but that's it. Well, we're going down one nil, looks like. Oh. Was that our only shot at it? Thirty seconds left, another corner too close to the keeper. He collects. And that is that. Our first premier game goes down in flames. And it looks like Melio didn't have a good game. Quite a few nerves. Just gonna say, hey, don't worry about that. We're just a little bit unlucky. We'll get them next time. All right. Well, that completes this episode. And I will see you next time.